Ariel Hawani in Albuquerque, New Mexico, alongside heavyweight contender Andre Arlovsky, who meets Stipe Miocic at UFC 195 on January 2nd. Andre, it's good to see you here. Nice First, let me ask you, you know, everyone's buzzing in Albuquerque because of Holly Holm. It's amazing just to see the reaction. For you, you've been here for quite some time now. What did the win mean to you? Well, first of all, I, I, I want to congratulate uh, Holly. She deserve it. Uh, it's good for Winkle John, for Greg Jackson also. And also it's good for me because uh, I'm with my friend, we bet some money on Holly and we make pretty good money. How much you make? Doesn't matter. Don't, don't think about it. We, we, we make enough. Did you make six figures like her agent? No comments. Wow, look at you. <laughs> smart man. I always knew you were a smart man. Well done. So you always knew she was going to win, no doubt. You know what? Um, of course, it's like it's fight, anything can happen, but uh, after waiting, I th in my mind, something clear, she got, she got uh, a Ronda and uh, she's going to be a, champ a new champion. So. Because of the way Ronda was acting, what she was yes, saying? Yes, yes, yes. She was, did you think she was trying to like mentally, like as a fighter, when you see okay, that, what do you Holly, think? She has a great fighting experience. She was many, many, many times a boxing champion and she did uh, pretty well in MMA. Now she's a champion, so it's, it's good for her. Did you go watch? I understand all the fighters went to a place called Route 66, a casino. Yeah, you were there? Yeah, yeah. So what was it like being around everyone? How were you guys celebrating? Uh, I, I'm on schedule. I went right, right out of the fight. I, I drove home, back home. But uh, yeah, I, I, even I recorded when uh, Dana White put a uh, belt uh, around her waist. I recorded. People went crazy. Crowd went crazy. So it was good. And around Albuquerque, in your familiar face, are a lot of people coming up to you talking about the fight? Uh, not really, just a, as a gym, but elevate here and some people, yeah. Did you get it's the sense? Victory, she deserves it, so. Yeah. Did you get the sense that everyone's a little more motivated after seeing that they all came back to the gym with a little extra pep in their step? Um, honestly, I can talk for everyone, but. How about you? For me, it's like I all, all the time motivate. I'm a responsible uh, person right now, a responsible father, so it doesn't really matter for me is, is she a champion or not, but I have my own like stuff in my head and I just need to, to be. Uh, as good I can. Is your family here with you? No, no, no. She's there, they're back at home and I'm going to fly for, 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 for Thanksgiving over there. Is it hard for you to be away from them? Oh, yes. My wife, she all the time sends me a picture of my son and every time when he's going to the kindergarten, uh -huh. I do FaceTime with him, so it's, it's good. Does it make you want to not be here in the sense that, is it too hard? You know, now you're, the, you're a father, you don't want to miss these moments. Do you, under, you understand why you're here, but in a sense, do you want to just train at home so that you could be closer to him? Uh, if I want to be a champion again, uh, yeah. and uh, if I want to be uh, the best in the world, I just have to, I think, like, it's, I have to be away from my home, because uh, uh, I wanted to move here with my family, but uh, before I make decision, we came here with my family, and it's hard, you know, I, I work out here, when I come back uh, home, my son want to play with me, you know, I need to do something uh, for my wife, so we have to go, like, gross, grocery shopping, this and that, so it's, it's, it's too busy, too complicated, and I decided it's better stay away, and uh, it's hard, of course, but uh, if I want to, I choose what's more important for me right now, sure. so I want to be a champion, I want to uh, rebuild my, my career again, and I want to uh, be the best in the world. So you got Miocic on January 2nd, were you happy when you were offered this fight? Oh, actually, I'm very happy. My manager called me when I was on the way to Ireland for um, yeah. for the fights and um, uh, fights in Dublin, and I said, "Yeah, of course, sold." Why do you like it so much? Uh, he's tough. He's number three. He's in front of me, and uh, no doubt it's going to be very important, very, very uh, good, and uh, very, very motivation. Uh, I mean, like it's going to be a very good fight for me. And uh, when I heard that news, it's like motivate me even more. And uh, I, Right away after Dublin, I came here and uh, I'm ready to go. Was it a weird scene for you being there with Ben Rothwell and he was trying to get you to fight him or call you out in front? Was that awkward? Um, kind of, but listen, uh, he, 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 he does what he thinks is good for him, so uh, for me it's better to keep my mouth shut <laughs> at, and uh, just do what, uh, what's right for me, what my uh, manager recommend me, what my uh, coaches recommend me, so just... Just stay smart. Do you feel bad for him? Because he was supposed to fight Miocic, and well, then he was left with... It's like all the time when uh, somebody cancels a fight right uh, right before they went, like a week or two. It's, so of course, it's horrible because I'm sure he spent some uh, time, he spent some money, and uh, of course. Have they told you if you win this fight, you're finally going to get another crack at that title? Listen, I don't really think about it, so it's, I just want to fight as, as, as often as possible. I need to make some money. Like I said, I'm a responsible father, person, and a, a husband, so I just I need to, I need to 
um, how to say, uh, I need to support my family. So yeah. just I want to fight as, soon as, as, as often as possible. Andre, thank you for the time. Appreciate it. Good luck in training. Thank you very much.